Good afternoon, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Um, we are going to be doing a, a wood warm stove. It's called a Phoenix. It's an inset stove. Um, basically, it is one that you can fit into the appliance. Um, I'll start again. You can fit it into um, your, your normal fireplace, whether it's a brick one or a sandstone one or a cast iron one, whatever, whatever type of appliance you've got. Uh, fire surround should I say um, you can fit them straight into it um, and, and that's what customers like to do they like to have the inset stoves and um, they still have they probably have more vents on them the inset stoves than they do the, the, the normal wood burning stoves because obviously you, you don't get the heat from the sides and the top um, so they have like vents here and they have vents all over the place on them which uh, uh, you know counterbalances uh, the, the, the heat that you would lose if it was a freestanding appliance. But the great thing about these is, as I said, they, they, if, you, if you love your fire surround, these are really ideal to, to, to go into, uh, into the, the fire surround that you want to keep and you, and you want to like um, uh, get the same sort of uh, heat as a wood burning stove. The other great thing about these, which is, which is better, uh, better as well, is that once the door's shut, um, it's all sealed so when you're not using it you're not getting a downdraft like you would do with a fireplace so th th these are really good uh, appliances to have wood warmer uh, very good um, uh, wood burning stoves to have we've just got to take these bits out first everything comes out this is a multi-fuel stove has the the movable grate um, just look basically just like the one we just done just a minute ago to be fair um, that, that sort of uh, metal grate and then these come out very easy just be very gentle when you're taking them out normally you could just leave the top one in in position and then i'll just put that behind my, behind where i'm working and then what i do is i grab this side like this and then the, and then i put that one i'll put that on top of that the other one and, and then you, and i can see there's a few hairline fractures on it but i'll show you them in a minute it's not an it's not an issue or anything and then, and then we take this out as you can see like uh, on top of that it's got a bit of soot that's uh, that's come down but to be fair i always think that's a good sign and then this back brick comes out as well it's always an idea to take these ones out sometimes you don't have to like the one i did yesterday didn't have to do it um because it it, it would stay in position but because the actual hold in the actual appliance which I will show you I'll just put my torch in position so you can see it so I'm going to turn you upside down and around so like so you can have a look so like as you can see uh, there is the actual liner because it's right at the back of the appliance let's go back round so hopefully they didn't spin your head out but as you can see on the back of the appliance, it's very close uh, to the back. So if you got your brush stuck and you had to pull it down, you would knock that fire brick out of position. So and the chances of it are cracking are very high if you knock it down and it hits the, the metal floor. Uh, the, the other thing I will quickly show you, it's got that, um, them type of grates that move backwards, open up and then they close down. When you're just burning wood only on them, um, you have it like this, and then when you're not, I'm not too sure which one it is. Yeah. The customer's going to show, oh yeah, he's got the, 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 the tool on the side. It's just going to show me, that, and there you go. That, that, that's if you're going to be burning wood, uh, uh, a coal, you can empty the ash out, and it drops down into the ash pan. And then basically, if you're just burning wood, you just let that fill up with um, ash, and it stops the air going underneath it. Thank you, sir, for that. It's very kind of you. So yeah, basically, so uh, that's why it's uh, a multi-fuel. They're, they're very good, as I said, and uh, easy access. We're gonna put the Hoover on now. Just put the Hoover on now. I, I like doing this, especially after the ones that we've just done. The very straightforward one. After that last one, there's me trying to push the cowl off the top of the roof. For the last one, thinking I was, wasn't high enough. And uh, it was a good job it was fixed on properly. Otherwise, uh, I'd have been going, yep, yeah, it's free. And then you're going outside and the top would have been off. This is a six inch liner. So basically we put that 
brush like that and then obviously we get as you as you know I normally wear my mask but it's a bit muggy at the moment so what we're gonna I'm just putting my t-shirt over my face at the moment so um, what I'm doing is I move that over a little bit I'm always a little bit paranoid about fire bricks because they, they are very fragile and they, they can crack and if you, you know, sods law, you touch them, you bang them, and they will break. The good thing about these particular ones is you can get them on eBay. I think they're about 25 quid a set. In fact, you can get everything on eBay now. Customer's got a couple of bits on there, like a, a scented thing on there, and also a, thermo, a thermometer on there, and a fan. The thermometer can only go there. So like, I know we talk about that they should be higher above the appliance, but they can, that's the only place they can go on these. They can't go anywhere else. They can't go on the side. It won't stay on the side. It won't get accurate reading. So it sits on top of there. And the fan as well, it sits on top of there. So obviously with a river freestanding wood burning stove, they will go at the, behind the pipe. So it pushes out the heat. Now what we've got to do is we're going to go up like we normally do, we, we're going to go up slowly up, up up the chimney first, make sure we, can, we know exactly how dirty it is up there, and then um, and then we'll clean it as we come back down, but always a good idea to do it this way, as I always say, it's, you know, a lot of people, they just go straight up and down three to six times, if it needs it that is and then and then um they start cleaning it as they're going up but i, I never do that I've, I've never done that in the 24 years of working because i don't know how dirty the appliances and, and the way my sheet's set up i might have to tape it up you know um you know i have to make it more secure so if i go up slowly it, it allows me to work out just how dirty the actual uh, liner is so it's a way much better idea doing it this way and then if you if it is dirty and you need to go quite a lot and there's soot coming down then you can seal all this up and then brush it up and down from the from the top to the bottom but um, this chimney is in excellent order the customer burns very good wood so there's no issues here at all with this so we're just going to go up i think we're nearly at the top now as you as you always know um, when we get to the red red rods that means we're getting to the top all we're listening for now is that donk there it is just a little, little, little donk you probably wouldn't have heard it because of the hoover's on but we're at the top now so what I do is uh, because there's not much um, of this rod that's gone up there we'll start with the next rod and then we'll go up and down with this one the great thing about line and line chimneys is they're not they're not like um, open fires. You know, the, the brush is the, the brush is the same size. It doesn't spring in and close up, spring in and close up. So so that there's not much up here at all. To be fair, the customer gets it done every year. Let me just keep going. Obviously do a bit slower than that. We don't want to knock that off there. Let's just keep going. Go back up again. Back down. We're off to the seaside after this one. Pretty, pretty knackered today, but I don't think it's from work I just think it's more because it's quite muggy and it affects your sleep. Feel like you've had about two hours sleep. But you know us as English we love to complain about the weather so it wouldn't be right if we didn't. So I think this is the last one. Oh no one more. This is definitely the last one to go up down a couple of times. Sometimes, as I say, th th this little bit here is where the soot's going to create more. 
and then we can have a look and see what's going on inside. As, as you can see, I'll show you in a second, I'll just fold this sheet up. Just fold this up, and because it's not dirty, and I'm on my sheet, I'm going to fold it up here. Obviously, if it's dirty, just screw it up and put it into your, bo into your box. And clean it outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look inside. To show you inside. As you can see, let's move the hoover out of the way. You can see. You can see that's it. That's what has come down. Very fine and dusty, which is which is what we're looking for. Put you back into position. That's great. Like I was saying with it, with with the rod and the brush being so far back, is always a good idea. Because like, did you see that the way that come down like that? right at the back of the appliance if that, that fire brick was in in there then it could have knocked it forward and, and as I said they're very unforgiving they, they, they're so light that they will they will crack and then what we do is we just clean the top of it like that all around make sure it's all nice and clean before we put the bricks back in and then then we get the hoover and I just clean the, the rubbish in front of me first because we don't want that to go into the carpet. It's just a little bit on top of that baffle plate, so I'm just going to hoover that up. And then hoover it inside, hoover the holes where the vents are, the back. Make sure it's all nice and clean. And around there, the entrance to the pipe. But as you can see, it's very fine and dusty, which is a great sign. What we'll do is we'll... People swear by wood worms, so they love them. I think they're, to be fair, I think they're like one of the most popular stoves out there. Well, uh, I'm, only, I'm saying that through comments that I've had on my page. That wood, wood warm stoves, and then what we'll do sometimes when you can't get the brush, um, the, the brush when you can't get the hose in into the appliance, what you need to do is you just get your get your shovel, bend it down, and then just go in there like, and then look. I don't know if you can see that. And then you just do that, you get all the stuff out. And just suck it all up. I have got an attachment here. Have a look. Make sure you get it all out. It's got a mechanism on the other, on the other side. That's it. Now we'll do. I'm not finished with it yet. I just want to see. See if anything else comes out with it. And so no, just a little bit of. Um, if you see that, just a tiny little bit of ash on there. Uh, take that off. I'm going to hoover that. And then make sure this tray is all nice and clean. And I'll put that back into position. See these, that, these, these stick out. It's not an issue. That's how they're meant to be. So don't think that it has to be right flush against it. Because on the door, as you can see, there's is a place where it goes because that gasket right that goes around there and around there so um, if you think that you haven't got it in properly yeah 
Well, and then what we'll do is we'll put the back one back in first. We'll just give it a bit of a hoover. The back bit's it's looking all right. Can't see any issues with that at all. It's always a good idea just have a, you can see a few little hairline fractures there. Like along there as well, but that, that's no issue. And with these ones, um, because of the way they shape their elbows, they've got that, that sort of um, angle there. They can only go in at a certain place. But obviously they've got to go up higher, like that, because they've got to be, you see the holes there, they've got to be flush with the holes at the top. So that's got to go in like that. Just lean that forward, I think, for the time being. And then we get one of these ones. And this has got a few hairline fractures in it as well, so it's they, it's not an issue. They do go off, so I can see it's gonna it's gonna break. So if you see that along there, it's not an issue. It's just they go off for a while. But as I said, eBay sell them, so don't don't worry if it, if it does happen to you. Just go on eBay. These, these are great. As I said, uh, this baffle plate. Uh, it's not just just the brick it's actually got a, a metal plate that's been made up to go on top as you can see the bolts so it's, uh, it's there to, to make sure that it's all safe and secure so of course you, you put this bit in there like that just leave it as it is like that and then we get the next one just be very careful with them because if you drop them now look there's another hairline fracture in this one it's not too bad on this side, it hasn't gone through yet. And then you can like put them into position. Just leave that one at an angle like that. And then put this one right at the back. And then put this one into position like that. And then you can do, put this one into position then. And let's see what's going on here. Lift that brick up. Make sure you put all three of them in first, and then there you go, it's done. And then what you do is I, I hoover myself up because it, the reason why I keep hoovering myself up is because if I stand up and then and they've got ash on me, you're gonna, I'm going to end up putting it on the carpet. So it's always important that you make sure you're all clean. You don't want to do a good job, and then all of a sudden. These ones are a bit different with the, with the little fence that they have on the front of them. They have these. They're very self-explanatory how they go. So you put them, put them back into position. As I said, they, they can only go one way, so... And then they go like that. Do the hole, that one. And, um, that's it. That's it. That's it. And then what you do is you get rid of the pipe, the bar. Take this middle one over there like that. That's right, no, that's right. It's fine. It's it. That's it. Make sure that's in position. It's fine. Don't worry about it, sir. So it's no problem. I can sort it. Yeah, that's fine. Leave it with me. I'll sort it. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And that goes in there like that. Okay. 
and that bit that goes on top of there like that. That's it. And there we have it. Yeah. That's it, it's there, all done. You happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good, good. Just make sure everything's all off there. That's it. And then we close that down. Like that. And then we can put these stuff back up on here. As they were. And then make sure that's back in position. That's it. It's all done. Have a great day from Zachary from Zachary Sweets.